barrels. A piece of the puzzle that's extremely important in making the, the end result great. If you're having a little trouble with accuracy, switch out your barrel. Here's your standard flutings. And then we have all these new styles. You take a number five contour barrel and you flute it. It's the weight of a number four. So it allows you to have a little bigger barrel, a little more surface area, but the same weight as a number four contour. So wasn't the original thought process of fluting to uh, create greater surface area that's on the cool. barrel so and it cools the same way faster? It is today. That's the same way it is today. But what we found is if you straight flute a barrel, okay, in the lighter contour barrels, they open up. So you lose a little bit of velocity. With these, they're supported a little better and you don't have that straight line where it can open up. And I just recently found that out. This is a, a little uh, display model that we have of all the style flutings that we can do. We also can do bolts. It gives you a little classier looking rifle. You can see you had some custom work on it and uh, save you some weight. Awesome. But I guess what, what just kind of what I've read and seen people talking about on the forums is, is even the materials have changed because oh, the pencil thin barrels really did not perform as well as they do today. That's correct. So you can actually get a lighter barrel, li lighter barrel contour for yes. let's say a sheep hunting rifle and not lose the, the accuracy. You want light? We have carbon fiber. Yeah. Today we have different compositions, different wraps. They're very strong and they're very light. You lift this against the, the same contour barrel, mm. that's half the weight. Wow. We work with carbon six. We found that to be a super, super accurate barrel. They're holding up very well. They work extremely well. A lot of people don't realize, why is a gun blued? It's chromoly steel. Right. If it wasn't blued, it would rust. Mm. Once you shoot 30 to 40 rounds out of that barrel, depending on friction and depending on what bullets you're shooting, you've shot all the bluing off the inside of the barrel. Mm. So when we have a guy bring a blued rifle in this morning, three years old, we put a brake on it, it's pitted an inch and a half down the barrel. Because you bring it in, it's soaking wet, you stand it in a corner, right. the water runs down and pits. So today, we have stainless steel barrels. We don't have the problem with pitting and all that. Before we close up here, tell us a little bit about the well, that's all the again, different Cerakote the, options that you have. I the, mean, that's... Blued, the blued rifles, this is a big option because this eliminates any, any rusting or anything. Yeah. These are the Cerakotings that we do. If we're going to build the gun, we'll even do around the uh, threaded area so we have no issue with it. If you're hunting in sleet or freezing rain, it will not stick to it. It falls right off. You get a carbon fiber stock or you get a fiberglass stock and you get a barrel action bed it and put this in it, you're not going to have to deal with uh, climate changes and changing point of impacts. Mm. 